for ground zero area secure. Crater, crater radiation readings normal. So now we know that on Talon 4 there was a crater impact and there's radiation around. But there was an impact that created a crater and there's radiation around. Friggin' exterior earth hull stable and fully functional. Oh, I didn't notice that the other thing on the left switches between two, di two different images. Anyway, so the hull is stable and fully functional. Uh, everything inside, on the other hand, seems to be pretty crappy. And this probably, act yeah, this activates the elevator. Activate a lot of stuff by scanning it, especially early in the game when you don't have too many other methods of activating things. This is, I think, the, uh, the, both the shortest and the easiest game in the series. Okay, that hit me last time, too. But for a different reason, because I thought I could get under it with more time. This time I just had bad timing. Alright, more not-quite-dead pirates are in here. And they will fire at you, so... Uh, something I forgot to scan, or didn't scan, but it's not a limited chance scan, it's something that you will see all the time, so no big deal. Um, more stuff to see. Parasite data. Cuba stage. This is just data that the pirates have collected on the parasites or parasite queen or something. This is not a limited chance scan, but, uh, maybe it is, I'm not sure, maybe they're all replaced later in the game, but certainly isn't the only chance I have to scan this, but, you know, I tend to scan things first chance I get. This is a turret, you'll see them quite often. It says use missiles to break out or casing, but, um, no wrong button. Still getting used to these controls. Anyway, you don't have to use missiles to kill it, but, uh, here's another scan missile ammo. This is just five missiles. Um, that does go in your logbook. Um, although those things don't in later games. It doesn't this way. Um, anyway, I tend to use missiles a lot in this part because, well, um, I, uh, let's just say I, I, I won't, I won't necessarily need those missiles for a whole long time. Alright, this is a pirate data entry. It is a one-time scan because it's on this ship. And this ship, you won't be able to visit it after this first part. Um, alright. Zeebies has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead either killed by the hunter clad in metal or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orpheon, Syriacus, and the Gold Paragon were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at, dock, docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. And what was the date on that? 9, 9.92.3. I think that's like year, day, hour, or something like that. And xenotropic life form unstable. And it's trying to break out. Scan this to activate the elevator. So this is true in all three Metroid games. Okay, now I can scan that. This is just 10 energy units. So this is true for all Metroid games. Um, 
there is no item that you will miss perm that you can miss and miss permanently. But there are scans that you can miss permanently. And I'm getting shot. Well, there's another guy there. He's my radar says there is. Oh, there you are. No. Maybe I shouldn't use this. Just plasmite. Plated parasite. Anyway, there is there are some creatures in here that you'll see later in the game. Treat that, yeah, we'll see a lot of those. Parasite larva. Ice treat bat. Nothing. By the way, those pirates, they don't give you logbook scans. Ow. Alright, I need to bone up on my screen. Like I said, still kind of getting used to these controls. Death caused by some severe lacerations to the abdomen. Mm. In other words, he got stabbed in the gut. At least I think that's what that means. I got dangerously close to dying in this part. I'm gonna try to make that not happen. Alright, this guy is not as hurt as the other pirates, and thus even more dangerous. Not dangerous enough, though. The store's not receiving power. And this pirate died when his internal organs were removed. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty grisly stuff here. This is one thing that... that bothers me about... about you know, how we rate things, what we consider appropriate and inappropriate. You can have references to, like, people, or space pirates in this case, dying in... Oh, I always forget that that door closes quickly. They just put more folly here to open it. We can have references to people or beings being killed in gruesome ways. And that's only enough for, for, for like, a teen rating. But, like, you know, you can't... But if there were a game, not necessarily this game, but, you know, if there were a game that had, like, any nudity in it at all, then, then like, that would be, you know, almost automatically mature rating. <laughs> okay. Acid burns to the face. <laughs> Severe lacerations has been partially eaten. Can't tell. Cranial trauma. Look, oh, this would be a. Okay, this one just says dead. <laughs> They're being less specific. Um... Oh, those three things above the door, they could. They could be significant at a much later time. Anyway, yeah, you can have all these, like, graphic references references to violence and death, but, like, you know, but, and, you know, graphic depictions of death and violence and stuff, but, you know, any sex, any nudity is, is a no-no. Insert metallic sphere. Good thing I have a metallic sphere. So that was a safe station, which come to think of it, I should scan. Many of the research entries are just these things that you see all the time. So, these things, 